Guys, what's up? This is some more promotional content that Konami is pushing for the new structure deck called Surge of Divine Radiance. You know, the new fairy structure deck that has been talked about for the last couple of months. Tomorrow on September 20, 23rd, as it says, uh, structure deck our Surge of Divine Radiance goes on sale. A pre-constructed deck that prevents your opponent from making moves with powerful combos centered around powerful fairy type monsters and counter trap cards. Based on the con concepts of the deck, uh, structure deck Surge of Radiance, it now returns in renewal with new cards. Here we will explore how to use this deck and introduce the new cards included in it. Uh, the deck guide, the playing image centered new cards. First off, let's check the image of the combos centered around the new cards with this playing guide. A new ace monster appears, the level 9 Angel Paladin Arch Parsath makes its debut with 2800 attack and 2300 defense. Let's keep an eye on its three powerful effects. It has a strong effect that allows it to special summon itself from the hand or graveyard. It also has a powerful combo via the ability to inflict battle damage to your opponent via defense position monsters, and when it inflicts battle damage, you can add a Parshath card or counter trap from your deck to your hand. A powerful ace monster appears that embodies tactics that make full use of fairies and counter traps. Uh, so this is the effect of Angel pa Paladin Arch Parser. If you activate a counter trap card or if you negate the activation of a spell or trap card or monster effect while this card is in your hand or graveyard, except during the damage step, you can banish two other fairy type monsters from your hand, field and or graveyard, special summon this card. Two, if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Three, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can add one parser card or one counter trap from your deck to your hand. Let's use new monsters in tandem with high level fairy monsters. Let's introduce new monsters with powerful effects that add fairy monsters and counter traps to the hand. By assembling your hand in order, you'll be able to disrupt the opponent's plays and bring out further fairy monsters to seize victory. Keep a steady strong supply line of counter traps by activating counter traps. Angel Sage Minerva is a 1700 attack uh, monster with 1400 defense. And its effect is, each time a counter trap card is activated, this card gains 500 attack immediately after it resolves. Also, if Sanctuary in the Sky is on the field, add one counter trap with a different name from that activated card from your graveyard to your hand. Its effect grants its attack that lasts even after the turn ends, so aggressively pump its attack. And it also has a strong effect that adds counter trap cards from the graveyard to the hand. So by playing a Sentry in the Sky or the new Sentry of Parshath to the field, you can use that effect. Disrupt your opponent and replenish your hand. Power Angel Valkyria. You can, this is a 1800 attack with 1050 defense. You can only use this effect of Power Angel Valkyria once per turn. If you negate the activation of a spell, trap, card, or monster effect, add one light fairy monster from your deck to your hand. It has a strong effect that adds light fairy monsters from the deck to the hand, not just via counter trap cards, but any effect that negates the activation of a monster's effect, or a spell or trap card, can draw out this effect, and the monster you add to your hand can be of any level meaning it's uh, strong if you want to add high level monsters to your hand. Add two other allies to the hand in prep for the opponent's moves and get ready to attack. So you've got Eevee, which is a uh, 500 attack, 200 defense monster. You can only use this effect of Eevee once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish up to two other fairy light fairy monsters from your field and or graveyard add from your deck to your hand level 2 or lower fairy type monsters with different names except Eevee equal to the number of monsters banished by this um, this way. It has a powerful effect that can add a max of 2 level 2 or lower light fairy monsters from the deck to the hand. You can add cards like Herald of Orange Light to your hand 
that can activate from the hand to negate your opponent's effects, which are sure to be tactics you can uh, like in tandem with um, Power Angel Valkyria. Spell and trap cards that bolster tactics also appear. A powerful continuous spell card and a counter trap make their debut that greatly bolster these tactics. Its effect protects set spell and trap cards, but also strengthens fairies, and for various combos, it's treated as Sanctuary in the Sky. So this is a Sanctuary of Parshath. This is a continuous spell card that says this card's name becomes the Sanctuary in the Sky while on the field or in the graveyard. All fairy type monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense. Set spells and traps on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can target them with card effects. Once per turn, you can target three fairy monsters and or counter traps in your graveyard with different names. Place them on top of your deck in any order. Since it's a Parshath card, you can add it from your deck to the hand with the effect of Angel Paladin Arch Parshath. It's a powerful trap counter trap that negates the activation of monster effects, spells, and trap cards while bringing out Parshath monsters. So we have Reincarnating Parshath. This is a counter trap that says when a spell or trap card it, or monster effect is activated, reveal one counter trap in your hand, discard one card, and pay 1000 life points. Negate that activation, and if you do, shuffle that card into the deck. Then you can special summon one Parshath monster from your deck or extra deck. By assembling your hand, you can take advantage of this card's intense effects and bring out the cards you need. This card's effect can call forth Angel Paladin Arch Parshath, whose own effect can add this card to the graveyard in the graveyard to the hand to aim for further moves. Also, pay attention to reprinted cards. Of course, there's fairy monsters. Uh, and counter traps, but there's also plenty of strong, noteworthy cards that have been regularly used in the past and continue to be used. It also includes powerful cards such as Ties of the Brethren. Now, will cards, uh, will you, which cards will you combine to make your deck? Check the card database for cards that have already been released that work well. The Wave of Divine Light fills the Sanctuary, Awaken Angel. Paladin, the structure deck Surge of Divine Radiance on sale September 23rd, 2017. Based on the concept um, of po former popular structure decks, the fifth pre constructed deck of the structure deck R series appears, renewing that former deck with new cards. This time around, we're reviving the charm of structure deck Surge of Radiance, which fights with powerful fairy monsters and counter traps by strengthening its tactics with new cards and including compatible support cards. It's been reborn as Surge of Divine Radiance for you to enjoy. So are you guys picking these cards up and why are you? Is it so you, you can build the deck or are you taking parts of it to make other decks you've thought of? Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, click the bell for notifications and as always, Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.